Welcome to Sports Tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Gina Trotman live in San Antonio, a city that has been taken over by the Final Four. A ton of excitement, a ton of buzz, but that is something that Michigan has been able to shut off because of their mentality that they have maintained this entire tournament, and that is something they are taking into tomorrow's game. That's going around the outside world, but we just got to stay focused and just play our game and do, let our play do the talking. It's kind of the same old story for you guys. You guys don't pay attention to that stuff and, you know, your biggest game yet and probably the biggest noise that you guys are still focused on yourself. Yeah, definitely. I think that I th that starts with coaching staff, Coach B. Um, he always he always tells us that. Coach Beeline also said he isn't sensing his guys being overly antsy, and that they are preparing well. You know, we'll we'll focus on ourselves and control what we can control, and uh, you know, just just look at it that way. It's that same do more, say less mentality that continues to carry over each round. Definitely learning, like you said, from LA. It definitely comes in handy. Uh, learning, just basically learning from each each round. You learn to take it out you carry it to the next round I think it's been very helpful to us three seed or underdog Cinderella or villain Michigan has become no stranger to the big stage we ride together we die together we're, we're kind of used to this position um, we never have always been the fan favorites that if you're not a Michigan fan you're usually not rooting for us anyway and we respect that we don't mind it now, going off of that mentality that Matthews mentioned goes into the idea that they have the chance to knock off Loyola, a team that the nation is considering a Cinderella. However, they tell me they do not consider this team a Cinderella. I'll tell you why, plus how they feel about being the possible villain. That's coming up tonight during sports on Fox 66 at 10 o'clock and then again right here at 11. For now, reporting from San Antonio, I'm Gina Trotman, NBC 25 News. We'll be right back.